uh, okay yes yeah, i always grab it and hit it to see which direction it's going and have those gloves on and it just gra start wrapping around it oh that was loose already it's gonna gonna fall off that's what I was gonna say <sighs> okay I kind of don't now that I can mix those with those I'll know them in a heartbeat okay of course I'm going to use the new ones to put the new new one on now getting to that and getting that to stay on there while you do that that's gonna be the trick gonna be the trick I want to see if there was, it almost sounded like two things fell when I did that, but hey, don't go that way. The floor slants that way. Well, I'll set it like that for now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Old. New. <laughs> that thing too shiny to see, but it well, it's it well, it's still a little bit round right there, but it's got a groove in it. But it did not make a hole in this end like it, you did before I put my wheel on there. <laughs> kind of grinded on this whole surface from here to here, but especially. Yeah, it took it took about almost a quarter inch off the diameter. It looks like and uh, yeah. Well, I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna check my. I'm gonna. Where's my nut driver? It's up here, I think. Well, I'll do that last. I just figure I won't think. I won't, might not think about it, but uh, let's go ahead and try to get this on here. Screwdriver. Okay, let's see. How am I going to do it? I can see that reaching it's going to be a real challenge. To you got to reach in. You got to hold it on there, and you got to reach in there to screw it on. How are you going to do that, Don? Let's let's look at this. It has to go on here. I wish I could get whatever that is that's in there. There's something in one of those. That was that was grease that I just grabbed. It, it looked like lint. But it was grease. Big blob of it. Hmm, I need to use that to at least get one lined up, and then what else will I do? Let's see. That's really dirty. I don't want to mess. I don't want to be bothering it anymore. Can't, can't reach anywhere to get rid of it. Maybe if I hide it over there. Okay. So, uh, where's the new one go? There we go. What do I do with my screws? Oh, they're over there. Mm. Yeah, they've got to come through the back side, and that's a long reach. If I, if I had a... I do have, but if I have to, I can go get a... A really thin, uh, you know, a small diameter nut, nut and a screw, you know, a machine screw and a nut, and uh, get it on there. I was thinking about using, I don't have any double back tape anyway, but I was thinking about something like that, or thinking about just taping it on there, but 
But this will uh, line it up pretty good, even from the back side, it'll help a lot. If that would stay in there long enough, I can just flip it up. I'll try that first. I'll just flip it back up, try to keep it in the same orientation. See if I can get one of those other ones stored in. There's a penny. Damn it. Penny. Shiny penny distracted me. Look at how shiny that is. Looks like a, it's shiny. For, oh, it's been rubbing in there for a long time. It's got a silver edge. Just rubbed all the fake copper off of it. Okay. So don't slam it down when you when you flip it over. Let's see. Oh, it rolls still, yes. So it... Oh, it won't stay. It won't stay in there at all, so... That ain't gonna work. There's a brick sitting there that's just perfect for blocking that thing up. Okay. There's a my my. It's been helping too. There's an electric heater over there. Where? I don't know if I can show it or not. Where is it? It's the other way. No, it's that way. Can't even see it. The vacuum's in the way. But it's one of those that looks like a. Looks like it has fire in there. Sure, it's, it's it's pretty good too. It work, makes quite a bit of heat. I mean, this is a garage. It's not insulated, but it keeps it to where you're not freezing when you come out here to do clothes and stuff. And well, the reason we got it is to keep the uh, water ho water water hoses and the water pump and the washer from freezing up. Um, okay, so let's go around here and. Back down the garage way, let's see. And, uh, okay, if I can see the top of the garage door, then I shouldn't be cutting my head off when I go down there. Probably got it higher than I need to, but that's all right. A little coffee. Little water. I got them sitting in the clothes basket, looking at the camera business. Okay. Uh, yeah, I need small. Let me take a look in the toolbox first. Where do I have my really small stuff? Hmm. That stuff might not be small enough, though. I don't want to lose that. Let's see, come over this way. This chair, I don't like this chair. I like this one. So, uh, these, those red plastic coffee cans they're not only good for putting stuff in but the lids are great coasters and great for doing this i think they're all too big yeah i didn't uh bring that did i bring a screw yeah, i've got a screw in my pocket they're all in my pocket yeah they're a little bit bigger than the screws well that one's about the same size so don't lose these screws they're in your shirt pocket so you can just fold this thing up and pour them all right back in there. So I use some of them for, uh, well, that's my coaster really, where I set my water. I, I don't want to mess up my fancy desk over here. It's an ash desk that my neighbor set out on the curb. Here's some more. I think these are, yeah, these are all, there's a sh couple of screws in there, but like sheet metal or wood screws. 
They're kind of small in diameter. I think that's a wood screw. These are these are assorted. This is my rolling toolbox that I originally bought, and all the all those tools to work in the telco installing telecommunications <coughs> communications equipment in the <coughs> in telephone <coughs> company central offices. <coughs> <coughs> But now it's my just my toolbox. Uh, yeah, I've got a whole stack of these things over here waiting for me to use for stuff like that. But I've got other screws everywhere, so I'm gonna look around, try to find some small ones that have nuts on them. I can put. Well, they should already have some nuts on them. Well, that's that one where I got my sheet metal screw that I used. Uh, guess I didn't go this way far enough. You don't need to see me the whole time. Uh, okay. As long as you can hear me, hopefully you can hear me, and you, you all know I'm here. Uh. Oh, there's some more well, wood and sheet metal screws mix. Mostly wood, I think. Let's see. Ow. Lots of wood screws there. What? The ones I've, I've realized that when I label them, it takes me twice as long to, to stop and read the label as it would to grab the lid off of there <laughs> and see what's in there. And sometimes I end up mixing things, you know, so it's not always the same thing, and I know that, so I'll I'll say, okay, well, you better look, self, you know, you better look. So it takes, sometimes I'll even get, you know, try get the magnifying, go find the magnifying glass so I can read them, and then I'm like, oh, crap, why didn't I just open the lid? I am not finding any of those kind of screws. And I believe everything there is the rest of its wood stuff. That is a there's a basket of wood screws over there. I'm beginning to think I'm gonna have to give up and gonna have to give up and move all this stuff because I really need something like that to help me do this. It's the best way I can think of. I don't have double back tape, and that would work pretty good. Don't have any. So. So it's beside the point, isn't it? Beside the point. Okay. Well, I've got all kinds of working and non-working, you know, cordless drills and stuff stacked on. I don't have room. But on top of my... Where's my old original? I don't know if you could see it, but it's still my original 18 volt setup. It's still got it. Uh, everything in it but the drill it's it's in the house because I, uh, I well those um, you know those new lithium ion and new, newer type batteries like that they do not handle cold well so I decided not to put them out here I was going to at first uh, those are too big uh, I don't remember what's got what in it so I just have to look some of this is my some of my brand new stuff. There's a mixture of stuff in here though. Oh, I'm beginning to remember. There's those brand new self-tapping screws like the one I used one of that was or used, but it was still in good shape. Yeah. Kinda had to Oh, there's, I've used a lot of those. There's some pretty good ones there, like number eight or ten. And, uh, well, now I have taken some of those little ones and put them in their own little containers. So let's look. <laughs> their own little. Yeah, I think these are all. Yeah, 
haven't been in this in a while, so. Yeah, okay, so they're not going to be any of those. Oh, I just remembered how I did it. My tin, my French toast tin. So I've got the smaller ones and deals inside of it. That's how I did it. So. Okay. Short. Oh, those are really short. Okay. They're too big to fit in a diameter. Okay, there's the small ones. Finally, getting to, I knew I had them, and I knew I had them, I didn't remember for sure how I had them done. Okay. I'm just going to bring this over there so that I can uh, size it up over there. Yeah, I got plenty. I got plenty. That says now. <clears throat> Where are we? We're down in the floor here. All the way into the floor. Okay. There. About right there. I'm not sure how tall it is when it's standing up. Okay. Just dying of thirst. <sighs> well, you could have used zip ties. I don't think that would be much help. Everybody loves zip ties and duct tape. Okay. My rock is in the way. I can just barely reach. Oh, but here, here we go. Oh no, there's not a hole there. I was thinking I could uh, reach through that way. Um, yeah. Well, let's find out what fits first, and then I think I might stick them through from the inside. If I've got any that's already got a nut on, I might be in luck. Let's see. There's one. Hangnail, hang. Yeah, this one will work. Actually, it's got a specialty nut. It's like, like kind of like a riser that you see on a. How many of those do I have? One, two. That's all I need. I don't want three. They'd be in the way. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, do I want to... Yeah, I think I will put them through from the outside instead. Yeah. Because uh, I can probably put my thumb on, on the nut. This is long enough for me to be able to get a hold of it. It's not as long as a screw, though, is it? Well, that yeah, but yeah, I think this way is going to do it. So, let me turn it around, get it in some sort of place where I can actually try and reach. That's not working so good. I don't remember how I did this before. Let's see. Huh. Okay. Tape may still come into play. Duct tape may save the day. I'm going to stick them through from this way, duct tape them in. And then uh, give me a piece of duct tape. <sighs> of course, I love duct tape. Everybody loves duct tape. There we go. Oops. I was going to say it's warm. At least I'm glad it's. Had warmed up some because it didn't feel super cold, but uh, it's not warmed up enough to peel good. <sighs> Brand new though. Okay. Where's those scissors are way up there. This stuff is, I'll just get it all dirty if I try to. <sighs> so 
So I'll just cut some off for that first one. Well, let's cut some off for both of them and have them handy. <sighs> okay. Got you ready. Uh, where are we going to put you? I don't know. <sighs> okay. Now. I think we're gonna, yeah, I'll do it like I did a while ago. Like I did the last time. Okay. Just kind of wipe that, make sure it doesn't. It's kind of slick. I think it may have uh, some, I don't use dryer sheets, but others around here do sometimes. So that might be what that is on there. Where did that go? There it is. Okay. <laughs> I've had those extra long... Uh-oh. No, the head's going to go right through. No, it's not. Good. Okay, we'll take... Oh, yes it will. Uh, wait, is there a washer that'll help in there? lock washer but it ought to help or a nut yeah that's not going to work good one of these nuts will help they're i think they got a small you know not the right one but they're yeah they got a small enough head it'll do that okay There we go. All I got to do is run the nuts down and it'll be on there. No, that won't work. Okay. Yeah, I've had those extra long nuts. The wiser looking things for a long time and I never had. Oh, this is some more screws and stuff that I got from my buddy's dad. From my buddy when his dad passed away. And, uh, and I've got stuff that I've had. I save everything and I don't use it unless I really need it. And uh, I've got screws and things I've had since the 70s. Oh, well, I have some stuff that were in this garage when I was growing up. In the, you know, in the 60s. And uh, they got, I think they were already kind of rusty. And over the years they got more rusty. So I don't want to use them, but I didn't want to throw them away. And I always thought I'd find a way to clean them up. And when I learned about tumbler machines, cleaning, uh, I really, you know, it's kind of gotten popular. And uh, so I've been interested in doing that. Probably should have not spun that all the way around like that, but well, it's going to be fine. Get my rock again. I'm having to hold it to keep it from rolling. Oh, there's a hole in there. I thought, is that the locating hole? Is there a hole you can stick stick it there? But no, there's not. There's not a way to locate it. I wonder if that's a balancing hole or something. I don't see why it would really need balancing, though, spin, slow as it spins. There we go. Now I can just run my nuts up lightly. And uh, it'll stay on until I get that first one in. Once I get the first one in, I wonder what I did with my <coughs> earplugs. <coughs> I've been trying to keep them where I can find them. I have a set of, you know, washable earplugs that I've had since. Well, the last time I got laid off from GD in '92. Started using them when I first hired on in '79, <coughs> but uh, <sighs> that's gonna be loud. And I'm gonna use the driver because you can. I don't even know if I can actually. Those are tight.